Hello Terraria enthusiasts, my name is James and today we've got some really interesting news coming from Terraria. Very interesting and very unexpected. Now I've actually put my face into this one today so you guys have something to look at because I only actually have like three images of the news I'm presenting and I want this video to go on for a little bit of time so I can talk about my opinions on it and I don't want you to get bored. So the news we're talking about today is Terraria is getting a comic or it already has a comic, it's actually on sale right now. It's a very interesting comic. It's actually an original story published by DC Comics. It's actually written and worked on by them. But it's actually made by Jazzware, the people who make the Terraria toys. So for a price of $15, what you're essentially getting is a DC Comics original Terraria comic, which is great, and I'll get into that later. Um, but you're also getting two action figures of the Terraria set, the Dryad and the Platinum Armor Guy. Very, very cool indeed. So let's actually get onto the comic, what is the story and such like that. So we don't actually know anything about the story other than the cover art and that's obviously because it's going to contain major plot points. So on the cover art we can see that two of our heroes, the Dryad and the Armor Guy, which is called Alistair and Callister I believe, are fighting off against the Eater of Worlds in some kind of town. It looks very awesome, I like their take on the Eater of Worlds, very very cool indeed. That's actually all we know about the story so far, but these are going to be our two main protagonists throughout the series. This is Volume 1. So there are the facts. You can actually pick this up if you're in the US in our local Toys R Us, or internationally you can order it to a select few countries. I think they're working on it now as I make this. They're working on doing international shipping and such like that. I've managed to get a copy finicky to like Ireland like they think it's going to Ireland but it's going to England so hopefully I will get it it'll be here in like two weeks so I can actually review it for you today so let's go into my opinions on this because this is where I wanted the bulk of the, the actual news to be so I think as a Terraria fan this is such a great opportunity right because Terraria is slowly being franchised now right because we've got Terraria Overworld coming later this year and that's a spin on Terraria itself. It's Terraria what we know and love as the fans with this new concept and this new take on it and obviously it's not that simple, it'll be something completely new. And this comic book is Terraria that we already know with a little spin on it, right? And I'll give you a really good example of this. So Minecraft, I'm sure you've all heard of it, is a game where there's no real characters or NPCs, they're all just figures. And in Terraria it's the exact same thing. We have our sprites, which are our characters, we have the Dryad, the Nurse, etc. They're sprites, so we know what they look like, and they have a few lines of dialogue. The thing is, they don't have, like, they don't have their own personalities. We we reflect our personalities onto them, um, and we create our own spin on the characters. And this is what the comic book is doing. So I think as Terraria fans, it's going to open up something new to us. A really good example of this, obviously, like I said, is in Minecraft, where they took Minecraft's simpleness and they ported it over to Minecraft Story Mode, which obviously gave us characters. Uh, like a full-fledged story and lore and it expanded on what we already know and it isn't canon and this comic isn't canon but it's very very cool indeed now a really good example of what a Terraria comic could be there are two there's the Terraria animated series that was commissioned by Jazzware which is made by Element Animation which is actually getting a second season there's that so there are characters with their own spin on it like for example they decided to make the skeleton an actual character with a big bassy deep voice and so we now look at the game and we think, huh, oh, skeletons, big, deep, bassy voices like mine. But no, very, very cool. The second one is The Legend of Max. The Legend of Max is an online webcomic, a really fantastic one, uh, which is actually just recently put into retirement. Uh, but that gave Terraria a life and soul. It gave Terraria a story. And obviously the creators are very thankful of that and others the community are very thankful of that. So I'll mention it here on the channel once again. It's been retired now and I really wish the creator, Jesse, the best of luck creating the next big thing. I just want to talk about that here. So it's very, very cool. As Terraria fans, I think this is fantastic. I think that pairing a comic with two action figures is brilliant because what it's going to do is it's going to be incentive to buy it, but it's also going to have characters that... I know this obviously for children, but it's going to have characters that they can think, hey, this Platinum guy, this is the character in the comic book, which is just very cool. But that's all my opinion so far. I think it's a really great move. I think marketing-wise, it's a brilliant move. It makes me really proud to be a Terraria fan because this isn't a cash crap. It really isn't. $15, you're getting two figures and a comic, and it's like published by DC Comics, which is a really respect respected, respected brand. 
for $15. That is amazing. That is brilliant fan service right there. So let me know what you guys think down below. Hopefully I will have one in one or two weeks, maybe, because obviously international shipping is a little bit weird with Toys R Us. Hopefully I'll get one. If not, I'll have to pray that the Jazzware gods will send me one. Please send me one, Jazzware, before then. Jazzware are pretty damn awesome when it comes to toys and sending me stuff. Please, guys. Anyway, have a great day, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.